Hello, welcome to the Maryland Courts video series on divorce. In this nine part series, you'll learn about the process used by the court to end a marriage. This video covers alimony or spousal support. This is the court process that will determine whether one spouse will make payments to the other spouse after the marriage has ended. The goal of these payments is to help the spouse receiving them to become self-supporting. We will talk about three types of alimony, pendente lite, rehabilitative, and indefinite. We'll also discuss factors the court must consider before awarding alimony in a divorce case. We'll go over the importance of timing when asking for alimony and examine how to terminate or modify alimony cases. Finally, we will briefly talk about some tax consequences. This series talks about divorce only. If you would like the court to end your marriage and establish custody of the children you and your spouse share, you should also view the series on child custody. You'll be learning a lot of new material and some of it can be quite dense. Consider using the tip sheet and taking notes. Let's get started with a look at the three types of alimony. Pendente lite alimony refers to temporary support payments made before the court grants a final divorce. The purpose of pendente lite support is to maintain the status quo and there's no guarantee that the court will grant alimony in the final divorce order. When the divorce is granted, the court may order rehabilitative alimony for a limited time. This allows the spouse receiving alimony to get the education or training needed to become self-supporting. In some cases, the court may award indefinite alimony when a spouse cannot make reasonable progress toward becoming self-supporting. This is usually because of age, illness, infirmity, or disability. The court may also award indefinite alimony if the standard of living of one spouse after the divorce will be significantly affected. Income is just one component the court will contemplate when deciding whether to grant alimony. There are several other factors the court will consider. As we mentioned earlier, the court will consider the ability of the spouse seeking alimony to be self-supporting and the time they may need to become self-supporting. In addition, the court will consider the age and health of each spouse, the length of the marriage, and the reasons the marriage ended. It will also look at each spouse's contributions to the family. This includes monetary and non-monetary contributions. The court will consider the standard of living during the marriage and the financial resources of each spouse, which may include financial needs, income, and assets. Finally, the court will take into consideration how marital property will be divided and the right of each spouse to retirement benefits. You need to keep in mind the important time element about alimony. The court will award alimony only before your divorce is final. If you and your spouse do not ask for alimony as part of the divorce case, you cannot come back later after your marriage is ended to ask the court for alimony. It is a long-standing rule in Maryland that your right to ask for alimony is extinguished at the moment your marriage ends. If the court grants alimony in your divorce case, you should know about how to change the payments and when payments may end. There are three ways alimony payments may terminate, death, remarriage, or to avoid a harsh result. Alimony will no longer be paid if either spouse dies. Also, if the spouse receiving payments remarries, the other person is no longer required to pay alimony unless the spouses have agreed otherwise. Finally, the court may terminate alimony payments to avoid a harsh result. Alimony payments may be modified if there is a material change in circumstances, but there are exceptions. For example, if your divorce judgment states that no modification may be made, then you cannot change alimony payments. Finally, it is important to understand the tax consequences of alimony. A spouse who pays alimony or spousal support cannot deduct those payments from income. A spouse receiving alimony does not have to pay taxes on that income. In negotiating a settlement agreement or divorce, you and your spouse may agree otherwise. The tax consequences of alimony are complicated and you should consider talking to a lawyer. <laughs> that was a lot of complex information about spousal support. Remember, if you want to speak to a lawyer, you may call the Maryland Court Self-Help Center at 410-260-1392.
Those lawyers can't represent you in court, but they can answer questions about alimony. Let's summarize. Remember, there are three types of alimony, pendente lite, rehabilitative, and indefinite. The court will consider several factors when contemplating alimony in a divorce case, including financial resources, health, length of marriage, and standard of living. If you want to ask the court to award alimony, you must ask before the marriage is ended. Alimony may end if one spouse dies, remarries, or the court issues an order. You may modify alimony if there is a material change in circumstances. Finally, be sure to understand the tax consequences of alimony payments. Thanks for watching. On behalf of the Maryland courts, we hope this information about alimony or spousal support in divorce cases has been helpful.